So we all know that testosterone or TRT in general can uh, potentially lower your fertility, which is why men use HCG. But did you know researchers in Edinburgh are working on a male contraceptive quote pill which will actually be a combination of exogenous testosterone and progesterone to stop you from being fertile. We're going to discuss this in a minute, so keep watching. Hi, welcome to Balance My Hormones, where we help men and women on their journey to optimal hormone balance. If you're new to the channel, please press like and subscribe so you get future content. And today we're here with Dr. George Tuliatos, an expert in TRT, who's going to discuss with us his thoughts on this uh, concept of uh, a testosterone gel with progesterone as a male contraceptive. Uh, hi, Dr. George. How are you doing today? Hi, Michael. I'm fine. So, so George, I read this article a couple of weeks ago, and it's about uh, male contraceptive. And so the, the premise is, is some women have to use uh, marina coil, uh, which can get infected, and they've got to go through all sorts of trouble. Why can't you know, men also carry the load? And, uh, and as a result, uh, researchers are working on developing a uh, pharmaceutical that contains testosterone gel, which is already available on the market, along with some form of progesterone. Uh, and, and so um, they're, they're recruiting volunteers for this study. It's going to be an 18 month trial, and they're going to try to get uh, approval from the uh, medical agencies like the FDA, FDA or in, in the UK, it's the MHRA. In Europe, it's the European Medicines Agency. Um, but what's really interesting is the thought that, well, why are they even bothering uh, trying to seek approval when there's already, um, you know, testosterone on the market and certainly progesterone-like molecules like nandrolone on the market? Why not simply uh, have these on offer for men who want to have a contraceptive? So uh, I thought I'd ask you what your thoughts were on that. And um, is, this, uh, is this going to change the way men uh, will look at testosterone as something that they would hop on and hop off as a way to control their fertility? Or are we still going to go by the tried and true that we know that it's a real long slog coming off of testosterone and it's not very pleasant? So, George, what are your thoughts? Well, so far we're aware that there's a homeostatic mechanism when we supply uh, androgens and testosterone in particular for replacement therapy, there is a shut off of, of our own production. The point is, when we no longer produce, we don't, we don't care about this minimal minimal fracture that we don't produce anymore. So when we administrate uh, testosterone or an anogenic anabolic steroids that derivatives of testosterone, there is a shut off in LH and FSH, the gonadotropins in, in the brain, okay? And uh, we know that FSH regulates spermatogenesis and, and uh, serotonin cells in the, in the testicles. And actually, uh, we know also from physiology that testosterone matures the sperm so LH that increases testosterone also mature, matures the, the, the sperms, the intratesticular testosterone matures the sperm in the Leydig cells and the Sertoli, of course. So uh, we also are aware that bodybuilders lower fertility during the, their course of the cycles. And you also know that horses that run in the, uh, in the, in the game, in how, how you call this, in the races, they, these horses become sterilized when they are injected with stenozolol, for instance, you know, in order to run faster. Yeah, uh, so um, it, was a, it was a classic side effect for some guys that were not able to conceive and let their girlfriends pregnant while on a cycle, with, of course, some few exceptions, because we know that, uh, that, um, that uh, fertilization is a matter also of, of, of chances, but we know that sperm count and fertility goes down as we introduce testosterone or anabolic steroids to the male, okay? Because uh, the testicles shrink, basically, okay? And ejaculation volume also lowers. And we try to restore this by the use of HG, right? Uh, of course, men used to undergo vasectomy, but few men are, are not willing to undergo this, uh, this surgical process, okay? So we use the uh, stopping the, you know, uh, stopping abruptly the intercourse or using a condom, and per of course the birth control pills by by females, by women, based on estrogens and progesterone as well. 
I, I suppose maybe the, the reason why uh, you know, doctors aren't just recommending exogenous testosterone as a birth control pill is because as we've seen, not everyone goes down to zero fertility on TRT treatment. I mean, it's, it's uh, thought that it might, but we've always seen a few cases, and of course then if you add HCG, that's another story, you're going to be bypassing. What's your spermatocytes when you start before using testosterone? If you have a severe oligospermia, close to uh, azospermia, then just by little using testosterone, you know, you'll make it uh, disappear, your, your sperm cells. So if you had on the other side a good sperm volume and uh, good production, then it will lower, but it will not get diminished eventually. So I believe it matters how good was your sperm just before adding your testosterone, okay? Okay, so the, the, if you've got a strong sperm sperm count and you, you basically you've got a higher level, um, it's going to take longer to bring it down. With the also, yes. Uh, the flagella, the, the head also matters a lot. Obviously, when I started TRT years ago, um, I, I don't know, because I never did a semen analysis at the time. I can only assume that I was mostly infertile. Um, I did notice changes in the color of the semen volume a little bit, but I didn't notice the volume as much as I hear from some patients. And, and then when I, years later, when I tried to uh, add in HCG, after six months I was able to restore fertility, 156 million sperm, uh, and a 72% motility, so there's a, um, so they look you know, relatively healthy. Um, but there are many other factors too that can affect fertility, like you said. Uh, um, I think I've got a, a varicocele, something that uh, many people have, uh, about 15% of the population. Genes, you know, increased temperatures, steam baths, you know, because uh, you have to know that testicles hang out of the body in order to have a lower temperature, and they are covered by a, a film, an air sac, you know. So the scrotum has a film of air in order to cool down the testicle. <laughs> Um, it makes sense. You know how practitioners would would address this in future. You know, it's, it's maybe it's you know two or three years down the road. But you know, if any patient can come to the doctor and say, "Hey, doc, I, you know, my my, my partner, my mistress doesn't want uh, to have children, and she doesn't want to use uh, female birth control, um, but I'd like to. Um, can I have some testosterone, please? Uh, it, 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 will it make it easier, uh, you know, for, for men to?" To, you know, to go on and off TRT in a sense. And in a sense, you're doing TRT to suppress your fertility with the added uh, part of a, a special progesterone blend. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good combination, yes, progesterone with testosterone, but I don't believe there's a good, it's a good reason to, to go for, to become infertile, you know, to, to start testosterone for the sake of infertility. Uh, on the other side, uh, on the other uh, side, on the other hand, uh, your, Sex drive your libido improves dramatically as your fertility goes down with the use of testosterone. So um, you have to add HEG in order to keep your balls in a good size, otherwise they will shrink. And we know that uh, HEG is more than fertility, as Virgil says. It's about overall steroidogenesis and steroid profile synthesis of secondary molecules. Yes. But I see what you're saying. If, uh, if one were to go on as a contraceptive and try to regain maybe their, their fertility at a later point, so they felt better, you know, perhaps, yeah, HCG would, would be added in in that scenario. So, you know, it's all speculation at the moment. There is no approved uh, male birth control pill, though we do know, you know, like you said, uh, stenalzolol and uh, anandrolone and, and TRT can all, uh, or testosterone treatment can all, you know, lower your fertility. I suppose what we don't know is how long does it take, what are the signs, and when is it safe, uh, you know, to try to, to have sex uh, without protection and not uh, get your partner pregnant. Yeah. So that, that was the thought. So I just thought it'd be an interesting topic because it, it may change the paradigm. I know we're very cautious, very careful of who gets TRT. Maybe we will force some people stopping HCG, which is not cool, you know? Yeah, well, some people may stop the HCG uh, whilst, whilst they're, they're trying to have infertility, but I, I find HCG to be, to, to be helpful overall in, uh, in symptoms and, and lots of men 
you know, what like the feeling of the, the testes you know, maintaining some size and, uh, and some heaviness to them. So there's a short little video uh, discussing a, a recent article that had uh, popped in regarding the, the use of uh, basically, basically a future male contraceptive. Let us know in the comments if that's something you would want to try uh, if it were available to lower your fertility, would you as a male want to uh, be the one in charge of um, managing fertility, if you will? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And if you like the channel, please do like the video and, uh, and subscribe, and we'll have more content out, uh, usually one, one video a week. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again, George, and uh, we'll see you next time.